Linda Schwab Messmer, Senior Coding Consultant, Haugen Consulting Group, Coding Tip Spinal Fusion Coding in ICD-10 PCS. The qualifier, which is the seventh character of this, the PCS code, is the most difficult and actually is throwing a lot of coders for a loop. We want to make it a little simpler for you by showing you some parts of the anatomy and talking a little bit about the approach as well. The key to finding the correct qualifier in PCS coding of spinal fusions is to think about both the approach, which is anterior or posterior, and the spinal column. Is the physician working on the anterior column or the, the posterior column? First of all, let's talk about the approach, which is part of that qualifier value. What is important to think about is what position was that patient on the operating table? This makes it pretty simple to think about the approach. If the patient is what we call supine, that means they're lying on their back, that means the incision then had to be anterior. So just think about and look in your operating report for wh what the position of the patient was on that operating table. Again, if they were supine, your approach is anterior. Again, if the patient is prone, however, that means they're lying on their stomach, the incision would have to be posterior. So you have your um, approach qualifier as posterior approach. The second part is tricky, however. The second part is anterior column versus posterior column. That's why I have this little piece of spine right here, <laughs> because it helps me remember. Uh, first, you need to think about which is the anterior part of your spine, which is posterior. In this model, it's showing you the vertebral body right here is on the anterior part of your spine. In other, in other words, I line it up with myself. I know this is, has to be the front of my spine. All these protrusions in the back are the posterior part of your spine. So once you think about this model, it will help you decide if a fusion was being performed on the anterior part of the column or the posterior. Anterior, again, the name of this portion of that column is the vertebral body. When a physician does an interbody fusion, that means it had to be on the anterior column. So when you see that term interbody fusion used in your op report, you know that had to be the anterior column. If, on the other hand, you see terms like facet joints or pedicles or lamina, that means a fusion performed on those parts of the spine were in the posterior column. So just look for those terms, inner body fusion for anterior, um, facets, etc., for the, and the posterior part of the column, and there you have your qualifier. Once you recognize the part of the anatomy, the approach, and um, how the patient was on the table, you've got that qualifier nailed down.